Hello everyone, myself Manbir Kaur, 9th class student of Government Senior Secondary School, Dordarpur. Today, I am going to do an activity to understand wheels reduce friction. For doing this activity, we required a box lid, a balloon, a pencil or any sharp object to punch a hole, some crayons or some pencils. First of all, take the box lid and punch a hole at one end of the lid with the help of pencil or any sharp object like this which I have already done this and now take a balloon insert inside it such that so that the head of the balloon should be inside and the opening is outside now blow up the balloon and pinching it with the help of your finger like this while pinching it with the help of your finger that the balloon is closed. Now set a cardboard on the table or any flat surface and place the lid on the surface and release the balloon. What do we observe? Note your observation. And now again blow up the balloon. Pinching it with the help of your finger like this. And now Place some crayons or pencils on the surface. And now place the lid on the surface and release the balloon. What do we observe? Note your observation and analyze your result. We will observe that when we release the balloon by pressing it on the surface then the lid will not move but when we release the balloon by placing it on the crayons then the lid will move in the forward direction this is because that there is a force which always opposes the motion of one body over the other body within the contact is called friction friction is more when the surface area of the object is more so when we release the balloon by placing it on the surface, then there will be no movement in the lid due to more friction. But in the second case, when we put the balloon on the surface of the crayons, then the area of contact between two objects decreases and hence friction reduces. So the lesser force will be able to move the lid. Here the crayons work at the wheels and hence reduces friction. I hope I make you understand that wheels reduce friction. Thank you.